Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Jeff Ramsey heads to Karlstadt, New Jersey and encounters the most insecure owner he has ever met. I don't even know if I can handle this tonight. Co-owner Mitch is a broken man. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this. He doesn't have the support of his fellow partners, his father-in-law, Chief. I need that now. Yeah. Just get it. And his wife, Maureen. Out of the kitchen. What are you talking about? I'm getting pissed. I, All I, right. I don't give a for they get pissed or not. Mitch is unable to control his cooks. What the f is going on? And the food they serve. What is that? Look how slimy it is. How can you serve that? With an incompetent staff. It's Roll. A disgusting kitchen. Where's the standard? And a family that is tearing apart. Shut up. What do you tell me to shut? I said kitchen? shut up. I'd like to shut the doors and just say, you know what? Forget all. We are not going to continue along these lines. Just stop. Stop. Right. This is the one kitchen nightmares. Mitch, do something. Where it could all come crashing down. I am not serving food tonight. Dinner is cancelled. Before it even starts. Give up. Close the. Carl Stat, New Jersey, a small industrial town buried in the shadow of Meadowland Stadium. Only a mile away sits the Grasshopper also, a family-owned Irish pub and restaurant. Hi, how are you, gals? How are you doing all right? Good. 17 years ago, newlyweds Mitch and Maureen Sandler purchased the restaurant with Maureen's father, a successful restaurateur with 40 years of experience in the business. We were excited because you have dreams and you say, OK, let's go for it. So that's what we did. Ready to rock and roll, right? Yeah, let's go. This is going to be good. It took off. We were booming. Enjoy your meal. People were coming in left and right. All right, this way, please. And as the years rolled by, things started to change in the business. Obviously, it's dead tonight. Just go home, OK? As far as why the restaurant is failing, I don't know. What time are they coming in tomorrow? I don't know the schedule. This dress is a nightmare because Mitch. Where's that going? I have no idea yet. This supervision is not what it should be. Mitch, you gotta come out here. Yeah. Mitch is responsible for the kitchen. What am I doing in here? He's in this restaurant a ridiculous amount of hours, and a majority of those hours are not productive. Hey, uh, where's the toilet plunger? Can I get a bar mop, please? How are you? Good. There's daily operations of the restaurant that he absolutely should not be involved in. Maybe he could commit more of his time to oversee stuff that is, you know, uh, in the kitchen. All the other stuff has to be done that you're not taking care of. You're doing all that other stuff. Communication between Mitchell and his staff is non-existent. Hey, uh, how long does it take to make rice? The guys don't probably think it's a problem. I'm surprised they didn't make any rice. But ahí está grabando, okay? Sí, está grabando ahí. And because of that, the food at the Grasshopper just looks awful. They didn't like. The, they didn't say there was a lot of flavor in it. It is so dry. He doesn't like this. That's perfect. That steak. It was rare. Mitch won't take no responsibility of uh, quality control. Mitch, you call this soup? Get rid of this. My father-in-law blames me for everything, so I'm the scapegoat. There's nobody here. It's horrible. We need some people. If we continue this way, we're not going to make it. I feel like my life is falling apart. It's pretty tough. Every day I think about the restaurant. It's all on my shoulders. And every day it eats at me. We cannot afford this. Well, that's why we need some help here. If Chef Ramsey can't help me, I don't know where else to turn. Uh, this is the last resort. Hello. Hi, Chef Ramsey. I'm Maureen Sandler. Nice to meet you. Hi, it's good to see you too. Okay, this is my dad, Eddie. Eddie they call him Chef Ramsey, Hi. welcome. I thought you were a small little book. No, no, no. This is my husband, Hi, Mitch. Chef. How are you? Mitch. Pleasure to meet you. We're co-owners. So the three of you are running the business you know, together? Yes. Correct. Wow. I should really stand between these guys, because that's usually the case. Oh, really? Why do you say that? 
Do we butt heads? Occasionally. Occasionally. Are you kidding? We almost kill each other. Yes. Yeah, OK. Wow, you're already refereeing these two. I mean, who does what? I'm the one that oversees the kitchen. OK, so I'd like to get up to speed okay. with you individually and have a quick chat. Come on this way. I'm the one that takes care of the bills, and it's getting tougher and tougher. So we need Chef Ramsay's help. The fact that you stood in the middle of those two guys, is it really that bad, or...? <sighs> Business has changed drastically, and my father has to blame somebody, and he blames my husband. Where does your allegiance lie? With my husband, you know? I support him. How much does it cost to build this? Three million to get it gone. That's crazy. What do you think is wrong with the business? Mitch is one of the biggest problems. Do you regret now, 16 years later, giving him part of the business? Yes, I do. Tell me the biggest issue inside Grasshopper. My father-in-law blames me for everything. But is he right or is he wrong? Could be right, could be wrong. Who's running it? I guess I am, right? Let's talk about the food. Um, people seem to like it. Lovely. I can't wait to taste that. Enjoy. Our traditional Irish food's good here. I think you'll like the food, I hope. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. And first name is? Ramsey. Annette. Annette, nice to see you, darling. Very nice to meet you. And you are? The floor manager here. The floor manager. Also. How long have you been here? I've worked in this one for six to eight years. So you've been here from day one? Day one. What's wrong with the restaurant? Um, it starts at the top. Management, or lack of. Very frustrating. Well, I love your uh, honesty. On a scale of one to ten, what would you rate the food? Mm. You're three. The cooks are winging it. I don't know. What is that? I don't think care goes into every dish that they're making. OK, have you decided, or...? Let's go for the uh, French onion soup. OK. Shepherd's pie. And I'll go for fisherman's platter. Fantastic. Hungry, hey? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, dying to get my head okay. around. What's going on? All right, what's he having? First things first, we'd like a French onion soup. Thank you. Unbelievable. Lamps from another era. These bonkets, they look like my grandmother's luggage. Unbelievable. Let me taste this. This soup, it tastes like tar. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. Do you want a... Yes. OK. Mitch is serving the food, which I told him is completely wrong. But unfortunately, he doesn't know what he's doing in here. OK. Thank Enjoy. You. Thank you. Dreadful colour. Please. It's like somebody's dropped sliced onions into boiling dishwater. Dreadful. How's the French onion? Yeah, after a bad start, unfortunately. It's like someone's... In my soup. Well, that's not good. We'll take this away. That was dreadful. All right, um, guys, the French onion, he said it's like <laughs> flavor. He said it was not good. I told you that onion soup wasn't right. Uh, we know, I know. But how are you going to get your kids these guys to do that, right? Uh, I don't know. I'll find out. The kitchen staff will do what they want to do and do as little as possible. Mitch should grab the ball by the horns and be in command. All right, shepherd's pie, here we go. Thank you, Gabriel. He makes a good shepherd's pie. All right, chef. Thank you. Shepherd's pie. Wow, that's a very bizarre looking shepherd's pie. Someone put gravy on top of my crispy mash? Yes. That is a shocker. Like someone's snot all over my mash. Yeah. And that gravy is made from? Beef. Beef stock on a shepherd's yes. pie. And shepherd's pie is made out of? This one is actually beef. So it's a cottage so. pie, not a shepherd's pie. Because shepherd stands for the... The sheep. The sheep. I'll be back to check on you. Cold congealed gravy. It's like glue. So how are we doing? Yeah, taste that for me. It's yeah. just gross. And it's not hot either. That's partly the reason why they're not coming back. It's just watery. Damn. There was two strikes right away, and I was fairly confident that he would like one of them, at least. You're right? Fine. Guess good. Damn. There's a, uh, there's a lot of pain on Mitch's face. Batting zero. 
Yeah. The big uh, whip. See, he does not what he's doing. Mitch is up everything there. All right, chef. This is our broiled fisherman's platter. Okay. Flounder, scallops, and shrimp. Thank you. That's gross. No good, chef. Soft, bland, rubbery. I didn't realise it could be this bad. Thank you. OK. Mitch can be blind, and I'm not kidding you. He's yelling at you. All you have to do is do what I told you. Yeah. Well, I'm not even going there, Dad. Oh, no, this was not good. This was, this we was saved the worst. This divorce was the worst of the worst. Till right? the end. You no, know, you're here 16 years, so you think your food is decent? To hear otherwise, it's kind of shocking. I, can, I don't know if I can make it through this. Coming up, where's the fridge? A shocking inspection. Look how slimy it is. That's what you cook my scallops from. It's like it's been attacked by cats. A gruesome discovery. How do you serve that? <gasps> and a kitchen nightmare's first. We're screwed. That has Gordon running for the door. I am not serving that in there. No way. Dinner is cancelled. I didn't realize it could be this bad. Thoroughly disgusted with lunch. Oh, that's gross. Chef Ramsay wants to meet the chefs responsible for this supposed authentic Irish cuisine. Come around this side, please. So who's the chef? Marrow. How long have you been here, sir? I would say from uh, 1997. Did you taste any of the food that came back? Yes, I did. You did? What was your thoughts? I would say it was OK. You thought it was OK? Obviously, because you're smiling. I'm embarrassed. You're from Ireland. Yes. What I had there today had nothing to do with Ireland. Shepherd's pie? Well, I mean, that wasn't shepherd's pie. If you went to Dublin and you served shepherd's pie like that, they would shoot you. The food is embarrassing. Bland, cooked dreadfully. It has no flavor. Where's the pot of scallops? Where'd you keep those? Right there. Show it to me, please. Is that what you use out of mine? So that's what you cook my scallops from, yeah? Are they frozen? No, they're not frozen now. They were frozen. They were frozen, but they're yeah. not frozen now. Yeah. You've got no chance of cooking that. Decent. Oh, my gosh. I was dying. I was mortified. It's not hidden. It wasn't a secret. You just have to go in and open a fridge door. What's that in there? I don't think anybody walked into the refrigerator or the walk-in box to inspect it at all. Frozen. Everything's frozen. That's what he's getting. Nothing's fresh. Hold on, hold on. Maureen, come over. Mitch, come over, please. What is that? How old are they? They're not that old. That's two days old. That's a funny two days. How are you going to recook them? Help me. What are we going to do? You refry it. So it's fried twice. I want to throw up. There's not enough vitamins in that bar. There's not enough liquor in that bar to get them inebriated enough to even attempt to eat that. Is there any control in here, guys? Ugh. What is that? Mozzarella sticks. And can you see that there? Blood. Blood from where? From the meat. meat. Blood from the meat on the mozzarella sticks. Come on, guys. Thank God I didn't have the mozzarella sticks. It looked like a blood transfusion going on down there. Mitch, when was the last time you went through the fridge? Uh, Talk to me, please. I have not gone through this fridge, Chef. I left it up to my staff, all right? I knew I had a problem with Mitch as far as that supervision was involved, but I didn't think it was as bad, you know? You've got raw meat here, cooked meat, salami, blood in there. Come on, please, don't do this to yourself, let alone the customers. Rule number one when learning to cook, you cannot store raw meat and cooked meat on the same shelf in the same fridge. The whole thing has got a cross-contamination. Chief, give me something. It's like the supervision in here. Where's the rest of the fridge? Okay, this way. That's what I need to see. What's in 
there. Tenders. Chicken tenders. Why is it all bubbly and slimy? There's a chicken cum later. The chicken comes like that. Look how slimy it is. Look how slimy it is. Look at it. My God, it's horrific. It's totally embarrassing. What is this? How can you serve that? It's like it's been left out for days and it's been attacked by cats. This is where your money's going. Irrespective where the customers aren't coming from, but just from the base. Yeah, absolute waste. I know, because I pay the bills. Let me just tell you now, I would never, never have put a spoon of anything in my mouth if I knew this was taking place. Shocking to see just the extent of cross-contamination. There's no one checking. I'm sorry, Chief. You may be the chief, but I swear to God, there's one thing the grasshopper hasn't got, is a leader. We should all be ashamed of ourselves. At this point in time, I'd like to shut the doors and just say, you know what, bring it all. Someone's got to help me here a little bit. I cannot help a situation who are not willing to help themselves, and you don't need me to come in here and turn your fridge upside down. Mitch, if you're the one with the hands-on role in this business and you're supporting him and you're the, the, the mentoring figure. We're screwed. We have people coming tonight. What are we, what are we gonna do? I can guarantee you one thing. I am not serving food tonight with that in there. No way. What's that in there? After a horrifying inspection in the kitchen, the whole thing has got a cross-contamination. Chef Ramsay was left with no choice. I am not serving that in there. No way. I'm beyond, beyond embarrassed about this situation. Shutting down our dinner service, it's a nightmare. We cannot afford this. And OK, you want to open? Fine, of course I want business in here. But open with what? Take one good look at yourselves and think. I need some air, guys. Air and a stomach pump. We have never closed uh, for dinner, ever. I mean, we've had 18 inches of snow outside and we've opened. Mitch, there has to be leadership in the kitchen. What are you going to do tonight? I don't know what's just... Well, get in there and tell them to clean that stuff off. But guess what they're throwing out? They're throwing dollar sound. And guess who's paying for it? We are. We're paying for it. What just happened here tonight was um, kind of a disaster. Mitch knows that this whole thing right now, tonight, is his responsibility. We can't serve any food the way it is. The dinner is canceled. In shock, I'm drained emotionally. I hope this does not happen ever again. Otherwise, we won't be here. Mitch, that's focus. That's where it should have been. This is where you don't listen to me. Oh, okay. Why are you starting to fight just, with me now? Um, all right? I'm just saying, Mitch. All right, just... well, that's where my focus is, but it takes a, an awakening to learn, all right? Bad news, folks. Sorry we're not open tonight. There wasn't enough of supervision in there, and I guess the has hit the fan today. I'm sorry about it. Aww. Sorry about that. Definitely I'm embarrassed. As Chief returns from telling customers the restaurant is closed, inside, a leader has emerged to supervise the cleaning of the kitchen. Mitch, all of this has to be thrown out. But it's not Mitch. Because the blood was coming down, throw it out, get rid of it. It's Marine. Right? That has to go. It's very upsetting. The food that's going into that garbage is our profits. Throw out. Gone. And here we are in a situation where we're not making profits. Mitch, this has to be thrown out. This right. has to go. All right, Maureen, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everything was thrown away, disposed of. Scrubbed, washed, cleaned, and uh, we'll start again. We're cleaning. We're closed. Everything's got to be clean. After an eye-opening first day, Chef Ramsay realizes that it's not just the restaurant that is on the line, but Mitch and Marine's marriage as well. Morning. Hi, Chef. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. It's a tough day yesterday. Yeah, I'll say. Well, this is my home. Go, who's that? It's Mitch. Seriously? Seriously. When was that taken? 13 years ago. Wow. 
Mitch and I, back in the day, we were best of friends. And through the years now, he's not the same person he used to be. And that's the hard thing. When you opened that restaurant, you got married at the same time. Right. The guy I'm seeing today... You saw that picture. That's not the same person. You haven't got your breathing space. Mitch has been suffocated. And more importantly, the man's getting destroyed on a daily basis. I complain to my father. When he does, like, the busting chops and, like, breaking him down, I'm like, how dare you? So there is me in the between, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's fragmented to where there's nothing constructive taking place. But in Mitch, I think there's a broken man there. He's spent. He works his ass off. And what does he get? And what's his payoff? <laughs> 16 years in that business. And it's not right that we're in this situation. And it's our doing. But we have to make a decision on which way to go. The turnaround's going to start today. We need to start getting Mitch back. OK. And help him ascertain some form of pride back in his work. Honestly, the turnaround will be huge. But I can't do that without you. I'm ready, man. As far as the business is concerned and what is at stake, it's our family life. I'll see you back at the restaurant. He wants, at the end of the day, this place can't control us. It's time for us to control it. So whatever it takes. Now convinced that Marine will give Mitch the support he desperately needs, Chef Ramsay heads back to the Grasshopper to see if the restaurant is clean enough to open for dinner. Can I just have a, have a look? I hope Chef Ramsay will uh, see a big change in the way we're running this kitchen today. It's better than yesterday, yeah. All right, guys, get set up for service tonight. I want this set up completely, OK? He learned from uh, what went on yesterday and, and hope we get through it OK today. To be the leader. I don't even know if I can, how I'm going to handle this tonight. Don't beat yourself up all the time. Don't stop well, beating yourself up. I'm beating myself up, that's right. Enough. Mitch is going to He'll He'll give it a whirl. But he has to learn to be a better communicator and um, work together as a team, or else we're not going to make it. I will pull through this. My God. While Maureen tried to energize Mitch, Chef Ramsay knows that years of disappointing his wife and his father-in-law... Mitch, you two seconds? Yes, sir. Uh, take me to the office, please. ...has resulted in a complete loss of confidence for Mitch. Are you OK? Am I OK? Yeah. 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 OK, tonight, I want you to really seriously, yeah, make it work. You've yeah. got to get this right. Run it. Let them hear your voice. You wear your heart on your sleeve, you know that. I know. I know. I get emotional, you know? I can and, see that. I can and, see uh, that. I can see that. But relax. And, uh, you can do this. The minute you find that voice, yeah. they'll all back off. Yeah. Can you do it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, come Thank on. you. Let's go. After hopefully energizing Mitch, Chef Ramsay turns his attention to the menu. OK, Mario, let's go. Adding two appropriate specials, authentic Irish shepherd's pie and fish and chips. OK. Colour the vegetables nice and fine. So as it starts to cook, it disintegrates in the mince. Salt, please. I know you don't use it. Salt. 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 No, no. Thank you. Season. OK, from there, mashed potatoes made with cheese. It, it seasons it. Come on, guys. I want you to taste it. The shepherd's pie was awesome. I was excited about that. I enjoyed it. My staff enjoyed it. And I hope the customers will, too. OK, the fish. Lightly seasoned flour. And you don't want to just drop it in, right? No. Guys, it's a piece of fish. I mean, it's not a dish cloth. Crisp batter. So you season it as it cools down. Chief, what do you think? Oh, that's it. We should do this a long time ago. Two specials. We roll with them. Because I'm with you. You're expediting. Okay. Big time. I don't know if I'm going to be the leader, but I'm going to try. I'm not confident. I just want to crawl into a hole. <laughs> Coming up. We cannot serve that. Chef Ramsay gets to observe a dinner service. Mitch, roll. Will Mitch find his confidence? You're not helping any. You're not doing anything here, so what good are you? Will the kitchen staff rise to the occasion? Where's the standards? And will this family finally come together? Get out of the kitchen. Shut up. What are you telling me to shut up? I said kitchen. shut up. One thing's for sure. Chef Ramsay has his work cut out for him. We are not going to continue along these lines. Stop That's all coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. After refusing to open on night one... I am not serving that 
there. Chef Ramsay strengthens the menu with his version of a shepherd's pie and fish and chips. Oh, that's it. Now he is hoping to get some encouraging signs as he watches Mitch and his staff during a dinner service. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about Mayores, right? Excuse me? I'm going to talk about Mayores. I haven't got a clue what you say. Is that Spanish, uh, Scottish, Irish? What's it talking about? Fish and cheese, we make Mayores. Cheese what? Are you making the fish and chips by order? What do you mean by order? Do you cook it in advance sometimes? No, you're not free cooking up. Oh, no, they fry fish off in advance? Oh, you're kidding me. You know the way to cook burgers faster? A burger takes 10 minutes to cook. You can't cook a burger faster. When it's cooked, we send it. I understand. Ah. OK, here we go. Hello, how are you? We have two homemade specials, the shepherd's pie and fish and chips. I'll have the uh, fish and chips. So I'm going to get the shepherd's pie. Oh, the fish and chips. Mitch, here we go. First table's here, yes? Where are you going? Stay here. Oh. Where is he going? I don't know where he's gone. Yeah. Timbuk two or oh. I don't know where he's... What did you want? Relax. I told you to stay there. I'm going anywhere. No way. Are you anybody's bitch tonight? Come on. Okay. I need one fish and chips special and three shepherd pie specials. Cheers, Mitch. Mario's the only one that's listening to Mitch. Everybody got me, right? Hello down there. I need beer battered Irish sausage and chips. Yes, Mitch! Yes, Mitch! Listen up. I need a fish and chips, a shepherd's pie, and a sliced steak. Yes, yes, Mitch. Mitch. yes, Mitch! It appears as though Mitch and the kitchen are now on the same page, and the cooks are beginning to fill the orders. Mitch, which neighbor? What, did she say 40? She, huh? I don't, have the, I don't know. I'll have to wait she comes back. Oh, but Chef Ramsay notices another potential communication problem. Don't you have a copy of the tickets? No, I don't have it. An expediter needs the control of the tickets. Wow. We haven't even got a decent POS system. So there's the order. I need that now. Just get out. There's confusion with the dupes all the time because it's all handwritten. It's so antiquated. It's just, it's ridiculous. Come on, guys, tickets are piling up. Una mozzarella steak, aquí va. You can it. I did, but it's fine. I don't think so. While the chefs rush to push food out, just stop. That was the French onion soup. Little attention is being paid to quality control. Just stop for two seconds, look. Sure. We cannot serve that. We cannot go to this extent and try to start building a reputation and serving that. When you're the expediter, you're the last point of control. control right. So right. your standards are there. Their standards are there. You've got to start putting in some structure. Come on, Mitch, All please. Right. This one here. We're working on it, Chief. Right now, they're doing it out. Well, get the out. Fish and chips, 43. After a slow start... Fish and chips. Food is now making its way out to the diners. Everything's good? OK. And while the new specials are making a good impression... It definitely tastes like an actual Irish dish. Yeah. The regular menu... I think it's funny, yeah, but it's, like, raw. ...isn't impressing anyone. That's disgusting. This is gross. Can I take care of you later? My apologies. Okay, hon. That's supposed to be medium well. And that's medium rare. Come on. It's supposed to be medium Fine. well. Food on the burger, medium well. Where's the standard? What burger? Come on, guys. How could you f a hamburger? I'm so excited. Medium, yes? Yes. Come here. All of you come here. Touch it. It's raw. Did you check it? No, I didn't. Come on. Mario, all I want is a burger. A burger? Come on. What the f is going on? Mitch, right. I'm watching your mistakes. See if you can go outside and say hi to people. No, I can't right. go out. All right. Because I don't You're not tonight. helping any. You're not doing anything here, so what good are you? Two hours into dinner service, and the kitchen is beginning to unravel. It sucks! This is ice cold. With dish. Is that all? Too rare? After dish. The penny's raw? Coming back. Ah, oh, dear. Sorry. Yeah, just, uh, would you mind just, uh, just take that away for two seconds? I'm so sorry. Sure. Excuse me. We've got two seconds. Good morning. 
What is that? Let me just tell you something. When I was busting my chops earlier, making it for you, I turned my back for five minutes and you send that out. Chef. Chef. Come on, guys. On the back of 115 customers in two and a half hours, results to that. Chef Ramsay was just like, to hell with all of you. There's no passion, there's no care for any of the food coming out. Oh, you get paid? Where's the worry in your faces? If you're my brigade, I would you fired you 16 years ago. You, 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 and you. The dinner service is now approaching three hours. It's raw. And a steady stream of dishes has been returned to the kitchen. If you're my brigade, I would you fired you 16 years ago. Chef Ramsay is fed up, and he knows he needs to make an unusual move to save this restaurant. Hi, James, it's Gordon. Yeah, listen, uh, buddy, I need some help. Um, I need it quickly. Um, can you get uh, yourself down here? The grasshopper, please. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one more, right? Back inside the restaurant. What's going on with the last one? The final orders of the night go out. Thank you very much. Have a good night. That was a disaster. Brutal. That was very brutal. In shock, I'm drained. I'm tired. <sighs> that was rough. A real freaking disaster. In there, they turn up, they pick up the check, and they piss off home. They're not here for you. I realized I had to do something drastic. I've called a very talented local chef, and he just got here. James, please. This guy's worked at some of the best restaurants in America. Hey, chef. Good to see you. You too. Tomorrow, he's going to work with me and implement a standard here that needs to be put in place to move forward. And by the way, he's not only a chef, he's Irish. Tomorrow, we relaunch, we stick together as a team, and we kick ass. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. After the arrival of Chef James, Chef Ramsay decided to go ahead with his overnight plan of giving the dreary grasshopper a much-needed makeover. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the beginning of the new grasshopper. Yes, absolutely. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Come and have a look. Welcome to the new grasshopper. Look. Oh, my Chief. God. Look my at God. this. My God. Love it. That looks awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely yeah. fabulous. Gone are the dark, dingy colours. The green walls have gone. Very exciting. Welcome to the new, beautiful, vibrant colour. Awesome. Yeah. The mahogany looks yeah. much nicer green. with the champagne wall. It's incredible. It's bright. It's cheery. Oh, Everything oh, is beautiful. Oh. Mitch, are you happy? Yes, I am. Yeah? Good. Yeah. More are you happy? Yeah? Come on. You guys have got to come together. Thank yes? Thank you. We replaced the old stained glass. We've got some modern style lamp. I love these lamps. Mitch, you happy? Does it put an extra spring in your step? It's great. I love it. It's a breath of fresh air. This table, beautiful. A local artist designed it. Look how good this looks in here. This is unbelievable. It's positioned in the center of the room, so it becomes a sort of focal family table. This whole thing has just got a breath of fresh air to it. You happy? Okay. There is life back in this place. I can't wait to see our customers' faces when they first come to see the new improved grasshopper. I did make one more significant change. Annette, put your hands on that box. You've been stuck in the dark ages with this horrendous way of taking orders. This is now going to make your life so much easier. Oh. Extraordinary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, the state of the art POS system by Halo. I can't even imagine how much it's going to change everything for us. It's going to make you so much yeah. more efficient. I'm telling you, this is unbelievable. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Uh, you're an amazing guy. <laughs> Tonight, we have got to make to it make happen. It. We have to be it. on top of it all tonight. Mitch looked at me and he had tears in his eyes and he said, maybe this is our opportunity. The change in the decor will make the grasshopper more inviting, but the most critical makeover has been made to the menu. Gone are the greasy, tired, uninspired dishes, and in its place are new, vibrant Irish-American dishes that are not only pleasing to the eye, but rich in taste and flavor. Welcome to the grasshopper new menu. Clearly smaller. Why is it smaller? Quality. 
controlling the costs and trying to get consistent. Irish potato skins, fresh mozzarella sticks, corned beef with carrots and potatoes, the house burger with Irish cheddar, shepherd's pie with the most amazing mash. Chief, especially for you, Irish ale stew. Unbelievable. When he came along and showed us that Irish menu, the way he had it made up, I said, this is it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The new menu is fabulous. I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. Get the staff, a little taste. This food has spirit, life to it, so it'll change this place. Just like Mama used to make it. Chief, you need to be honest, firm, Perfect. and you can't stop no, being firm. No, no. And you call as you say. Well, no, no. And no. they have to listen to you. Do you know why? Because you're wise. That's right. Well, You've I'm had going... success in your yeah. life. Yeah. There's only one chief, and you're it. Yeah, OK. Hey folks, welcome to the Grasshopper. This is our new menu. The whole new menu just looks delicious. I'm going to have the potato, the beef potato soup. The shepherd's pie. Tonight, Chef James will be behind the line, overseeing the cooks. You got all your sauces. Keep turning. And Mitch, who is desperate not to repeat last night's disaster, will be expediting. All right, can I get a two beer battered shrimp, lamb sliders, Give me five. Give me five soups. Five potato soup all day. I got this. You do the soup. Come on. OK, you got to put more parsley on this. With Chef James controlling the line. You keep that and put it in the window. Don't worry. He doesn't need a ticket. Oh, 41, uh, Mitch. 41. There you go. Thank you. Right. Let's go. Appetizers are moving out quickly to the customers. This is really good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Now the pressure shifts to Mitch to keep the kitchen organized and the momentum going. All right, just fire the, uh... What are you at? I need a beer-battered shrimp and a pit and a ham and pea soup. Can you, can you call it again, please? When I was watching Mitch expedite, I noticed that he wasn't communicating with the line the way he should have been, and he was getting himself backed up. That's gonna be, this is gonna get here. Mitch, this is another order. Mitch, come on, you gotta talk to him, Mitch. You, 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 guys, let's go, all right? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Father, the entree, he's gonna cook what you tell him. Okay, I'm sorry. I need a poor boy, I need two poor boys, lamb sliders, two shrimp, a battered shrimp, three battered shrimp. The first appetizers went out brilliantly, but we have a real problem in the kitchen, and that's Mitch's expediting. You gotta get a system going. Just think. You gotta get a system going. If this guy was an air traffic controller, he'd be landing planes at the wrong frickin' airport. I only for three appetizers. While customers anxiously wait for their food. I think that might be the only thing we might have tonight. So. You got your food yet? We didn't get it yet. Chef Ramsay is still waiting for Mitch to step up and take control of his kitchen. I have a fish and chips and Irish stew. Is that a way or an order? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on! Mitch, you cannot do that to us. With the kitchen at a complete standstill, Mitch, 35 needs their food. Dad, please. A frustrated chief tries to help out. Mitch. Out of the kitchen. But it's not exactly welcomed. Don't with me. Shut up. What are you telling me to shut up? I said shut up. That's not right. Get out of the kitchen. I said shut up. Just stop. Just stop. Stop. Hey, Mario. Stop. It's relaunch night at the Grasshopper. Come on! And despite providing Mitch with a new tasty menu, and Chef James to supervise the cooks, you keep that and put it in the window. Don't worry, he doesn't need to take it. Mitch's failure in the kitchen has resulted in a battle between his wife and his father-in-law. Shut up! What are you telling me to shut up? I said shut up! Just stop! Stop! Hey! And Chef Ramsay has had enough. We are not going to continue along these lines. James, I'm sorry. Come round, please. Mitch, I want you assisting James. James, I want you expediting. All right, guys, let's go. Regroup. For the first time in 16 years, work together. Yes. Start again. Take over, please. Chef, I need those five soups right away. Listen and assist him. I am. Potato skin, you need this first, right now. Thank you. All right, that's going. Well, run it out there, Mitch. Run it out there. I am. Finally, I found a job for Mitch. He's running food out. Potato skins. 
What table number? Where are you going with them? Where are you going with them? Potato skins? It's 22. I was going with food and a table set. I didn't order that. Checkers pie. Oh, no, I got pasta. No, she got pasta. I was going to do all the wrong tables. Oh, this sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. Table 40, runner, please. All right. Mitch, get out. You, let's go. We're making progress. Let's go. Chip away at this. Chef Ramsay's decision to move Mitch out of the kitchen and replace him with Chef James as the expediter. Guys, I have three tickets in front of me. We're almost there. Has completely turned around dinner service. Customers are now getting their food. Yeah, really good. And are thrilled with what they are getting. Definitely coming back. I'm out of tickets, so guys, that's it. All right, thank you very thank much. Thank you, guys. As a difficult dinner service finally comes to an end, Chef Ramsay knows he has to have a difficult conversation with the owners. Okay, I'm going to be brutally honest. This restaurant will not succeed unless you make the necessary staff changes. And you can make it work, Mitch. I know you weren't professionally trained, but it's down to you. Yes. I brought you James, the expertise that you desperately need to get this ship back on course. Take advantage of James. Listen to him. Do it. And do it quick. Good night, guys. Change is scary. Good luck. But we got to take his advice and make the right decisions. This has been one of the most toughest nightmares I've ever done. Because this restaurant has everything it needs to succeed, except one thing, a leader. I just wish that Chief was 20 years younger. Because right now, there's no one in there that can fill his shoes. Mitch, 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 Mitch. Only days after Chef Ramsay left, Chef Mario was shown the door. And the house pasta, shrimp only, no veggies. The owners convinced Chef James to stay on as a consultant and properly train the kitchen staff. Mitch, you look great. And in the weeks that followed, Mitch took Chef Ramsay's advice to heart. That's easy, right? And it's sexy. Fast and furious. Learning from Chef James. No bun from the turkey burger and just fresh puts it out. And finally becoming the leader the grasshopper always needed. Make it nice or make it twice. I have changed, yes. My focus is 100% in that kitchen. Thank you, folks. Everything was good? Everything was good. Okay, great.